Uh, welcome back to Paramedic Project. Thanks for joining us once again. And uh, last time we talked about IV cannulation, skill acquisition tips around that, and uh, exactly uh, how important it was to A, aim for consistency, and to achieve that consistency, uh, just meticul meticulously set your gear up every time you practice the skill. So that was last time today. Expanding on that, I just wanted to share with you a couple of different tips and tricks on how to set your gear up for IV cannulation. So if you're a mnemonics type of person, I'm not a, I'm not a mnemonics guy personally, uh, but if you like them, then a good mnemonic for IV cannulation gear setup is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So I'll hold up a piece of equipment. Uh, so A for alco wipe, B for bung, uh, C for cannula, D for dressing, IV dressing, E for elastic, F for flush, and the last one, G, is get the sharps container. I think we can probably expand sharps container into all our PPE, so sharps container gloves and also eyewear. So that's gear set up one way. If you like mnemonics, that's a good one to remember. The way my mind works is I'm a bit more chronological. I like to break it up into pre-needle and post-needle. So pre-needle for me, uh, the first thing I do is I pop a tourniquet on, venous tourniquet on the patient. So I do that early on in the piece. This really allows uh, the patient's peripheral veins to engorge a little bit while we're setting up the rest of our gear. Then I get my swab. Now that swab doesn't necessarily need to be an alco wipe. It could be some other type of disinfecting uh, swab. Depends on what the organisation you're working for uh, likes you to use and what's approved in their training. So it's important to follow that. So that's the swab. That's the, so that's everything pre-needle. Post-needle then we've got our bung, our IV dressing. We prepare our flush, draw that up and obviously label it appropriately, then our sharps container and our other PPE which we have on at this stage. Once we've prepared all of that, we can go back to the patient's veins, uh, have a look at those veins, A, choose, choose which site we're actually going to cannulate, and at this stage I like to swab that, so we clean that, uh, preparing it just to, uh, to have the actual needle in so it's nice and, uh, nice and sterile and clean. Then, uh, then at that stage we have a look at the actual vein and we choose an appropriately sized cannula. So big or small, doesn't matter which one, whatever matches the size of that vein, we, ne we can then choose our cannula and we can go ahead. So uh, there are two ways to, uh, to repair your IV cannulation gear. A mnemonic, that A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or chronologically, uh, that's how my mind works. But it's up to you really to come up with a way that suits you and that's easy for you to remember. And then as I said last episode, practice it every single time when you're actually, uh, when you're actually performing the skill or practicing the skill. So once again, it's been Paramedic Project. Thanks for joining us. Find us on social media. We really, uh, really love you to write in some comments, any suggestions you might have for, uh, for areas of training that you, need, uh, that you think need filling. Uh, we're really happy to hear them. But uh, thanks for joining us once again, and we'll see you next time.